Hello, friends. Welcome to another episode of I Need Friends podcast about whatever. Thanks for being my friend today. Um, we are now a few episodes into season two, and I still do not have an intro for my podcast. I think just my usual hello friends is just that's that's it I guess that's the intro now um (laughs) I don't know if I ever come up with anything else you'll be the first to know um but until then this is what we got so (laughs) um today's episode is called people will really just leave reviews on anything um because I was (laughs) I was looking up a um, a bridge around here that sometimes has scheduled openings and I was going to go that way where I would need to go over the bridge and just want to make sure it wasn't opening because if it was, I would go the other way, you know, how that stuff works. And so I pulled, you could look online. So I pulled it up, I Googled it. And then um, I happened to notice that uh, it has reviews on Google and it's Google reviews, it has 3.7 stars. So what I learned from this is not only are people leaving reviews on bridges, okay, um, they're leaving bad reviews on bridges. Um, Just, it's strange to me. Uh, but also really funny. So I just looked through like a few of these and I was reading some of them and I was like, this is really funny. These people are ridiculous. I think I'm going to do a podcast about this. And so then I stopped and just picked a couple more bridges that I was going to look at because I wanted to like have like real time reaction to them because it's ridiculous. Like, what are these people? What is it about the internet? that makes people just be like, no, my opinion needs to be heard on this. If the world doesn't know, like, what are they gonna do? They need me. Um, <laughs> it kind of seems like how some of these people feel. Like, I'll leave reviews on stuff for like good reviews. It, like, for me to leave a bad review on something, it would, I would really have to feel like this is something I really need to warn future customers about if I don't feel that way I don't leave a bad review so I usually don't leave a bad review and since I'll leave good reviews from time to time Google will be like hey you just left this place because we're following you and so do you want to leave a review there people like your reviews and I'm like not like no people don't need my the world will keep spinning without my opinion on this restaurant like I just I don't need to I don't need to give it. Um, although I, I try to remember to leave reviews though, because as a business owner myself, reviews on your page are actually very important. Um, but I, about bridges, I don't know so much. So before we get into this, let me do my little thing that I need to do. I think I forgot it last episode because I was just so upset about search party and what a disappointment that show was. But um, just, you know, if you want to follow the show, you can follow me on Twitter at a lady human, Instagram at I need friends underscore pod. You can email me. I need friends pod at gmail.com to give me any feedback about the show, questions, suggestions, whatever, anything. It's called I need friends. So be a friend. Um, just a reminder, if you're just listening um, maybe on like our iHeartRadio or Apple or, you know, Listen Notes, Stitcher, all those things. Um, you can also watch the video version of this episode on YouTube or Spotify. So you can just look up I Need Friends podcast on YouTube, subscribe to me there. All the episodes end up there. And I even have like some um, additional stuff too I'll just put other little random things on there so you can get a little more of a a sneak peek into I need friends life oh also uh my name's Kelly I don't think I mentioned that at all in the past couple episodes so if you don't typically listen that's my name 
I'm Kelly and this is I Need Friends and let's just get right into it. Oh, also you can get some gear at INeedFriendsPod.com. That's through Teespring. Um, there's some neat stuff there. One of the things that I have is this shirt. Actually, my daughter made this. It says bird go dead. <laughs> she drew like a little grim reaper with a little bird. She's so cute. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at this here. Let's see, patient first is texting me. I went up there today for like the biggest waste of time. I was pretty like convinced I have a kidney infection and nope nothing so just making sure they weren't texting me to be like hey you're pregnant that would be the worst um so anyway so the the first bridge reviews that i'm gonna look at was uh the centerville turnpike bridge um now all of these are in southeastern virginia and like the virginia beach hampton roads area and this bridge is kind of neat because it opens sideways it doesn't come up it just like comes out to the side but something about this bridge it's like boats are always running into it like a barge ran into it and it was shut down for six months and then it's just whenever it needs repairs it takes a long time and it's a big way for people to travel that kind of live in the more like BFE parts of Chesapeake instead of like kind of going all the way around so it's 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 pretty inconvenient when the bridge is shut down especially for six months so probably going to see some stuff about that I think this is the one I think the center of the one I've already read um, some of these reviews but uh, we're going to go by let's just go by most relevant how it sorts it for us so here we go three months ago a one star review <laughs> who thinks letting boats go through during rush hour was a good idea I'm for overtaxing the rich after sitting and watching yachts slowly go past while trying to go to a second job I mean I, I feel you on that, dude. I wouldn't leave a review on a bridge about that, but I, I feel you. That's got to be pretty, like, you're sitting there. This whole bridge, the road is opening up for this boat to come through, and you're sitting there like, I'm just trying to fucking pay my bills, man. <laughs> like, can I just go over this bridge? Another one star. Stop opening it at six in the morning when everyone is already late for work anyways. Barges love hitting this bridge. I told you <laughs> early in the morning, as we have seen before. <laughs> this one, they're feeling pretty generous, I guess. They left a little five star on this bridge. They like this bridge. Didn't know I could write a review for a bridge, he says. But everybody knows it. Everybody hates it. Everybody loves it. That doesn't make sense, but okay. Pray another barge doesn't hit it again or we're all late for work. <laughs> Okay, so I told you, people did not like this barge hitting this boat. They were very upset about it. Another one-star review. Such an inconvenient bridge. You never know when it's going to be open or for how long. Incredibly frustrating. Oh, here's, this is quite a difference. So I think, I think they meant to leave this review on the business and maybe not the actual bridge because they said, <laughs> was a pleasant stop. The bridge opened and I had an opportunity to remotely fix some client issues. Nice break from a road trip. Would stop here again. It, is he just talking about like being stopped at the bridge? Cause there's like a little like bait and tackle shop right there and like some little like antique store like right near the bridge. So I'm thinking, did he go in somewhere or was he just stopped there and got some work done? Like. <laughs> would stop here again god i hope this bridge stops me today oh another five star oh this person loves this bridge okay they got a lot to say about it this bridge is great if you need to cross over the waterway and don't want to swim across the water the oh my phone's rotating on me the rotating design is a genius way to quickly open the waterway to vessels a high-rise bridge would have less moving parts and allow for more accessible traffic flows for vehicles and vessels simultaneously. I am happy to take the bridge without having to pay a toll. If a toll bridge gets put in, I will avoid it as much as possible. True that, Henry. That's some real ass shit right there. Okay, we got tolls around here everywhere, and I try to avoid them at all costs. So like this 
uh, tunnel that, you know, is like pretty much the only way to get to like this one city. I mean, it's not, you have to like really go around. It charges you, I think it's like $4, like just to go in the tunnel. And I'm like, aren't my taxes already paying for the maintenance of this road, which I have no problem doing. I have no problem with my tax dollars going towards road repairs, but I have a problem with my tax dollars going towards roads. And then I also have to pay a toll for those roads. That's insane. And then if you pay late um, or if you don't get the notice in the mail about the bill or you just forget, um, they charge you $25 every month that you're late. Um, this company um, for the Elizabeth River Bridge Tunnel people, um, they are making a ridiculous, ridiculous amount of money. And it's actually been continuously hurting Portsmouth. I think like their, their taxes have gone, not, not like, not their taxes, but what the city is receiving in tax revenue. I think it's gone down like 8% each year or something since they put in the tolls and like all these people have all this debt for the, it's, it's insane. Like I ended up paying like $1,100 to like go through some bridges, I mean, some tunnels and go over some bridges like a few times. So I'm, I'm with Henry here. I will do everything I can to avoid a toll. I will add, if I have time, I will add fucking 20 minutes to a 20 minute drive. I will double that shit if it gets me around a toll. Because if you forget about it, it's a nightmare and you're paying $50 to drive over a bridge one time. It's literally highway robbery, literally. <laughs> Another one star, here we go. If your bridge is closed, then why the heck would you leave the green lights on as if people could go across? And I'm definitely not the only one that turned around after seeing the green lights and thinking that you were opening it for traffic. God damn, I drove all the way down there, had to chase some bullshit. <laughs> one star. She went home, she went home got online. She's like, I can't believe I had to turn around to that fucking bridge. And she typed out a review about how she had to wait at the bridge. Lady, that was Kim. Kim wasn't happy about it. Millie, on the other hand, loves this bridge. She goes five stars. Okay. This is a cute spot. Not good for motorcyclists as it has the graded bridge and they're challenging to ride on. Interesting drawbridge. The bridge opens sideways. Is it, does it show a drawbridge if it opens sideways? Is that draw? That's yeah. The trestle bridge is the, mm, oh, I don't remember. There's all, there's different types of, of bridges. They all, the ones that go like this, the ones that go up, the ones that go sideways, the ones that have like the actual lift, they all have different special bridge names. So if you're curious about that, yeah, I don't need to get into that here, right? Okay. Here we go. Another one star. This, mm, people don't like this bridge. There isn't one good reason why a bridge has to open and close during rush hours. Completely asinine. Asinine. I mean, it is kind of dumb, though, that the bridge is opening during rush hour, but another one star review from Tiffany. She's very unhappy. This bridge is open every five minutes. The traffic on Centerville Turnpike is terrible. I live right near the bridge and it takes me almost an hour to get home every day. It's getting worse. Oh, poor Tiffany. She's having a really hard time. She put three exclamation points at the end of that. This is an intense time for her. Sarah, however, she, she, feels, she feels good about it. So much nicer with repairs, she says. Five stars with that. Gives a little five star. Um, Oren four stars. Ooh, what's, why not the five stars, Oren? His review says closing for six months for repairs on August 24th, 2019. This one, oh, that's two years ago. We will be missing the use of the bridge. I think it's closed for repairs like twice since then, two or three times. And one of them was definitely for six fucking months. It was a long time. Oh, a little five star when it works. It's awesome. I feel like that would be a, that would be a four star review right? When it works. So you're saying it doesn't work. You still gave it the five stars. He just really likes the bridge. Jay also gives it five stars because it's a great place to launch a small boat. 
And then we got Linda, two stars. So not enough, not bad enough to make it a one star, but two stars definitely. Deviate from schedule for yachts as opposed to the published policy of only deviating for barges and government ships. That's what she's not happy about. Uh, Joshua, five stars. He says, nice, not too long of a wait for opening. But then immediately following, we got Big Chubb with a one-star review. And all he said was, back up. So he was backed up at the bridge, got really mad. He had his big chub and he just wanted to get it home. And so he goes home and he says, one star review, back up. Thanks, big chub. Fred agrees with big chub. He, he goes one star too, says it seems to be open at any time on Saturday or Sunday. Here's the thing. I don't frequent that area, but it's not like I never go over there and I hardly get caught by this bridge. So maybe these people need to move. I know moving's not that easy. It's just a joke, calm down. I couldn't move if I wanted to either. So <laughs> some of these, I don't know, part of the ICW. I don't know what that means. Know the schedule to avoid delays. Yeah, because you can look up to see when it's opening. <laughs> Mark. AKA Mr. Mark time, he loves it. He gave it a five-star review and he said, love it. So <laughs> he really likes this one. Zebra gives it a one-star, slowest bridge around. It's just so slow. And then here's our first three-star one. We have yet to get a three-star review on this bridge. Here we go from Angela. It opens, it closes, it's a drawbridge. <laughs> Only three stars for that? But as far as what you said, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. And you still only gave it three stars? Angela, you're so stingy. And then the last one I got for this one is another one star. And it's someone literally saying, just passing through. They passed through, they didn't like it. And they had to leave a review too. I like to think that this person was riding passenger in the cars they're traveling wherever they're traveling and they come over the bridge and she goes hmm i don't like this one star hmm why i don't know i was just passing through but one star fuck this bridge it sucks so <laughs> yeah so then i was looking at that and i only looked at a couple on there and then i was like you know are there reviews on other bridges around here? And not all of the bridges around here did have a place available for you to leave reviews. But the ones that did, you best believe they have them. What is wrong with these people? This bridge, I'm going to the South Norfolk Jordan Bridge, which is a fairly new bridge. It used to be the old bridge that was there like really sucked and like everyone hated it. And I bet that one had really bad reviews um, <laughs> before it got rebuilt. But this thing's like a fucking roller coaster now. Like, it's just, it's huge. Um, so let's see what we got here because this one has 2.7 out of five. So it's even lower. Oh my God, this one also, <laughs> it has reviews on Facebook. Oh my God, this bridge has a Facebook page and people are leaving reviews there. It's even lower on Facebook. It's 2.5. Wow. Okay, there's a lot here, it looks like. So I don't think we're going to be going through all of these. So let's see. Response from the owner. One of these has a response from the owner on the bridge. This is from Grayson, who gave it four stars. The pedestrian walkway is open 24 seven and it offers beautiful views if you like industrialization. <laughs> what a weird thing to say. Beautiful views if you like industrialization. If you think looking at factories and water towers is just so beautiful, you'll love the Jordan Bridge. Um, it is a really solid walk, but you're surrounded by factories and power plants. <laughs> 
and the lights block out the stars. Yes, that does. Sounds like sounds like a beautiful view with the factories and power plants and light pollution, air pollution. This is just um yeah, sounds like a good time, Grace, and thanks. So uh, <laughs> So the owner says, thanks, Grayson. While the walkway is accessible 24-7, it's actually open only during daylight hours. This person put pictures that they were up there at night. And she says, it's only open during daylight hours. Hope you enjoyed the climb. Yeah, because you, I mean, it's, it's a journey to get up. That thing's pretty, it's pretty steep. If you were a new driver coming on that bridge or like a really old driver, like an old person, you would be terrified of that bridge. Then we got James here, a little Jimmy gave it one star. Mm, he is just, he's not happy about this. I think this is in regards to the tolls. Let's see. They make no attempt to contact you after the initial notice. If this is lost in the mail, they don't send another notice. What did I fucking tell you? If you lose some shit with the tolls, man, you're, you're fucked. They wait for almost a year and then send the bill to collections. The collection agency then tries to recover the now much higher debt. This also ruins your credit score. I haven't had that experience. Just send the initial notice, then a late notice. The face that there, oh, the, it's supposed to say the fact. The fact that there are nine toll roads around Hampton Roads and they all have different websites is horrible. One weekend trip around the area could ruin your credit for years. This should be illegal. And you know what, James? You're right. Again, I wouldn't leave a review on the bridge. I'd probably reach out to like customer service of the company that manages the tolls, um, even though that's not going to do anything. You can contact your local representative. <laughs> oh, wait. That won't do anything either. So um, the owner responds to this one as well. Wow, they're, they're all about these responses here. Hi, James. If you can send your concerns to info at southnorfolkjordanbridge.com, we'll be glad to do a bit more research. Please include your full name, blah, 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 blah. They said they do send customers three invoices. That's just not true. Um, <laughs> which is sent via certified mail before an accountant advances to collections due to non-payment. That is absolutely 100% not true because I had my boyfriend went over this bridge in one of our work vehicles and just like he forgot to tell me about it. And, you know, we weren't thinking about it. I got one thing in the mail from it and just forgot about it like with this guy and nothing the next thing I got was that it was already in collection so that is not true these notices are sent to your vehicle's registered address based on your comments above it appears you could be having an issue with your local postal service yeah no shit everyone's having issues with their local postal service but even so like I'm sorry I don't believe you that you send out free notices because I haven't had that experience either now we got uh, a five star, our first five star. Yay, five star for the Jordan Bridge. Thanks to Riley, who says, the journey to the top is worth every step. Being able to see for miles in every direction is very cool. I just walked it, but I saw many on bicycles undertake the journey too. I'm not riding a bike at that fucking thing. It's a great walk and really gets your blood pumping. The pathway on the bridge is marked as well so that you can keep track of your distance no matter what side you start on. Okay. I keep burping today. And the owner responds to this one too. Thanks for your kind words. The workout and view are one of a kind. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, look, look. Here's what I'm talking about with the tolls. Here's another one. One star from Noah. Look. So I went through this toll and never got any mail regarding the toll and now I can't register my vehicle without paying $1,700 because of late fees and they won't be waiving any of it. This is theft and it's sickening. I hope whoever is getting rich off this gets sued. I have four kids and apparently we should all starve because they sent mail to an old address. I mean, yeah, that's really shitty. I mean, he's not $1,700. He's not joking and he probably... It probably had like five hundred dollars worth of tolls on there. It it's it's just fucking insane. Um. Oh wow, that's a really nice picture. Maybe I'll put it up so that you can like see it better because you can't 
I can't see it on my phone. <laughs> you see, doesn't it look nice? <laughs> no, you can't see it very well. Um, wow, that's really pretty. Let's see, can I save this image? Oh, screenshot it is. All right. Um, let's see, this is from Frank. He gave it five stars and you can see why with the lovely picture. This morning, we walked over the bridge, a little over two miles round trip, a great view, good exercise, and best part, it was free. Only if you're walking though, keep that in mind. It's not free if you're driving. Elizabeth River Park is nice too. I guess that's the park he's at. Maybe that's where he took the picture from. Yeah, there's a playground there. Wow, that's nice. That's really cute. The owner responded to this one too. They're very responsive and attentive. Attentive. Attentive? Wow, I can't, neither of those sound right to me right now. You know what I'm trying to say though. It doesn't matter. Bam, back to another one star. Ooh, this one is long. Oh my God. Okay. More about tolls. I told you these tolls are a fucking problem. All right. One star. I'm an out-of-state driver who crossed once in November 2015. This is two months ago. When I've used other pay-by-plate tolls in other states, you can pay within 24 to 48 hours online by typing your plate number. Pay-by-plate, after all. Not this one. You need to wait for weeks, if not months, for an account to be created for you. Then they insist on mailing you an invoice with a unique invoice number that must be input to pay the toll. No way to use your plate number and date to pay your one-time toll. And I have no use or need for an account with no intention of ever using the bridge again. My problem, I travel almost nonstop and rarely home to get mail, but as others have explained, neglect to pay them immediately and you're slammed with fees, collections, and threats of DMV penalties. Wanting none of that, I initiated the process of trying to pay the 4 or $5 toll the day I crossed on November 23rd, 2015. I made contact by phone and email. The administrate that uh, something about administration, they put some weird word that's not a word, was explained to me as if I care why they're so disorganized. I immediately suspected it was intentionally difficult to pay the tolls because they make a fortune in late fees. I'm with you there. Reading other reviews confirms my suspicion. So I opened a BBB complaint. BBB was familiar with these folks. They asked me to contact someone at SNJB, South Norfolk Jordan Bridge, at extension 201 prior to proceeding with my complaint. I did contact them, but there was no account created or invoice generated, so they had no way to collect my money. I asked if I could just mail them cash or a check, and they said no, but to please call back. Oh, I feel for this guy. So I did call back every week. Finally, on December 28th, more than one month later, I was finally successful in paying my toll because the person was able to find an account invoice. The level of effort needed to pay them less than I spent on a cup of coffee is obscene. Even now, six years later, the Jordan Bridge still has no way to pay by plate and instead relies on US mail and proprietary account and invoice numbers. Whew, yeah. Mm. I told you, I told you these tolls are ridiculous, right? Didn't I say that? Hold on a second, because my hair is getting stuck in my glasses. So let me just fix that. Here we go. All right, here we go. Another one star, recently moved to the area, made a wrong turn onto the bridge. Oh no. Rather than make an illegal U-turn, I went fully over the bridge and then turned around. They charged me eleven fifty. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! The POS customer service couldn't do anything because it was over two minutes from start to finish. I told her that it's impossible to cross and return under two minutes without breaking the law. Freaking insane! Beyond irritated. The owner responded to this too. It says, welcome to Hampton Roads. We regret your encounter was less than pleasant when traveling with us. And they said, we suggest that you enroll with Easy Pass for the lowest rate. She's like, bitch, I, tur I just turned around on the bridge. I made a wrong turn. Oh my God. That reminds me, me and um, one of my friends, we were like 18, 19. We were just kind of cruising around because there wasn't really anything to do. And um, we didn't like, really drink and stuff that much I don't know I think she did I wasn't but anyway 
so we're just driving around and we are going like kind of we're getting really close to north carolina we know we're like coming up on it so we're going to get off the interstate soon and um what's well, actually an expressway but um then we start coming up to these tolls and we're like what do what do we do <laughs> we can't turn around so what what happens now so i pull up to the toll booth and it's actually like at this time it was someone sitting in a booth still taking your money and we were like um we don't have any cash i think we had like a few dimes or something like we can't what are what are we supposed to do like we need to just turn around and so he actually let us turn around and he contacted like someone that was working in the other booth going the other way so that we could turn around and it was really easy for him to work that out for us so that's <laughs> this is ridiculous also because they have cameras on the bridge so when you get your bill in the mail if you get it it sends you a picture of your car driving over the bridge so certainly they could see that she just like made a mistake and they're like nope fuck you they really don't give a fuck they just want to charge you late fee after late fee so it looks like this one is mostly all the good reviews are people enjoying the park and walking on the bridge and then all the bad reviews are people pissed about the toll look this one this person said highway robbery <laughs> no attempt was made to contact me about a toll i didn't even know about i didn't even know where this bridge is now they're trying to charge me 105 dollars for one toll i hope they all burn in hell i'm with you there keith although i mean maybe not the hope they all burn in hell i don't wish bad things on people fun fact if a business has to tell people they are ethical and honest that business is neither <laughs> oh my gosh yeah yeah all of these are just nice walk expensive tolls bad customer service beautiful bridge so don't drive over the Jordan Bridge unless you have a lot of money um, <laughs> or you don't have bad luck with mail. And let's look at one more. This one is the Berkeley Bridge, which is in Norfolk, right outside of downtown. So that one gets a lot of traffic, possibly, I think probably more traffic than the other bridges we looked at. Oh. That's why I started looking up the different types of bridges. The Berkeley Bridge is a bascule bridge. So I was like, I didn't even know that that was a word. So that's when I looked up to see about all the different types of bridges. It's actually kind of a little bit interesting. Like I said, if you wanna go look it up, you can. But here we are, Berkeley Bridge in Norfolk. And so this, this bridge opens like this. So maybe that's a, that's a bascule bridge. The Jordan Bridge doesn't open at all. It's at, that one was tall enough. That's why I said it's like a roller coaster. It's like it's it's really fucking high. Um, let's see. So this one has three point seven out of five. So doing a little bit better than the other ones so far. Um, I guess a lot of people looks like they come up on this bridge to watch the Fourth of July fireworks. It feels very safe and secure, and family friendly. Inside the cage on top of the Berkeley Bridge. I didn't even know you could do that. What the fuck? A cage on the top of the bridge? Who is this person? Donnie? Okay. That was three years ago. I don't know what that's about. Never, ever heard of that, ever. Eloise, five stars. I travel over that bridge five days a week. Every now and then, I catch the bridge opening. It always amazes me. <laughs> what? <laughs> amazes you? in what way like amazes you that the bridge is you're getting caught by the bridge sometimes or amazes you watching the bridge open i don't know but it always amazes her leandre or radical ed don't know how we got that from his name but okay he gave it four stars, so not quite enough for five. The Berkeley Bridge provides a quick means to get from Norfolk to places such as Portsmouth and Suffolk. This is particularly true when traffic is at a minimum. However, in high traffic situations, the bridge serves as more of an instruction. It, is that supposed to be obstruction? Better traffic control devices could help with this. However, in high traffic situations, the bridge serves as more of an instruction. That's got to be obstruction, right? It's supposed to be obstruction. I don't know. 
another four star this one's got a lot of four stars interesting bridge leading into out of norfolk with a nice view of the downtown area and tides baseball stadium thanks Dwayne. isaac says it's just a fantastic bridge does such a great job at holding things good length not too long just long enough five stars isaac <laughs> is that a um is that a joke or is he being serious? I really can't tell. It does such a great job at holding things, he says. This is really funny. Nathan, it got me over the water, which is nice because I don't have a boat. <laughs> Five stars. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> People are crazy. Billy, he dropped a one star on it because he says the bridge comes up at the worst times. Not everyone works nine to five, okay? This bridge combined with the annoying tunnel makes for a horrible commute to Portsmouth. It can be pretty brutal. The commute to Portsmouth, I don't know, not so much. The commute from Portsmouth into Norfolk gets pretty intense. A one-star review from someone saying, why does the bridge open at 2.30 and not three? You are screwing second shift workers trying to get to work open on the top of the hour why aren't you thinking about me and my job why are you thinking about other people or when boats are coming think about me and when i need to get to work one star boom jimmy dropping the five stars i like that bridge even when traffic gets annoying me and my dad walk and i like how when a lot of big trucks drive on it you can feel the rumble Thanks, Jimmy. Thanks for that input. Oh my gosh. Another five star. LOL. This is what this review starts with. Why? Why? Oh, I accidentally clicked on something and now I gotta, now I gotta get back to it. I guess these people have like profiles that are leaving reviews. Um, okay, yeah, here we go from Michael. LOL, look closely. I never seen a bridge lift so much, but it's maintained very well. So it goes back down. <laughs> okay. What are these people doing? Like, how much free time do you have? You're like, I'm going to go leave a funny review on a bridge and just hope someone sees it one day. Another four star. This one's, this one's rocking hard with the four stars. Great way to escape the tolls, but don't get caught with the bridge open. See, the people around here know about these fucking bullshit tolls. They are bullshit. Oh, Noah. I wonder if it's the same Noah. Because he went five stars. It's a bridge. It crosses the water like a bridge. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if the other guy was named Noah. The one that said it opens, it closes. It's a drawbridge. Three stars. <laughs> this guy said five stars. Ooh, two stars. High tolls. Inconvenient when bridge is open for water traffic. Old and in the way. Look, Greg, I get what you're saying, but the tolls are in the tunnel, not on the bridge. And just because you're going over the bridge doesn't mean you have to go into the tunnel. You can get on 464, okay? And yes, it is convenient when the bridge is open. Old and in the way. The bridge is in the way? I think you're the bridge is the way. It's how you get two places. Three stars. At least you don't have to pay a toll for the bridge yet. I'm sure that will be coming soon, Daniel. Just, just you wait. I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet either. Gary, also rocking the three stars. Troublesome at certain times of the day. Otherwise, a good travel. You can even walk across if you wanted. Wow. Where are you going after that, though? Because your options are either in the tunnel or on 464. I guess you only have to go a little bit before you can take, but still, that's scary. Uh, Lee left a two-star review, but, you know, he's very self-aware and very honest. He didn't like this bridge, but he recognizes how ridiculous it is that he is, in fact, leaving a review on a bridge because he said, I just reviewed a bridge on Google. What am I doing with my life? He also didn't use proper um, punctuation, but that's okay. 
Another two star unscheduled opening while I was delivering groceries was very disappointed for the customer's hot food. Hello. One star, the bridge was up, come on. Come on, the bridge was up, come on. One star, one star for the bridge being up. <laughs> Fred with another one star says an accident waiting to happen. I'm not really sure what that means. But then we have Megan who gives it five stars and she says, awesome bridge. <laughs> what the hell? Why are people leaving reviews on bridges? So weird. One star, usually backed up. Three stars, hate it when this thing opens. Ha ha. Three stars, always jammed with traffic. And then this is weird. There's a five star review, but it says traffic time is the worst. So five stars. And then a four star review. Okay. That's what it says. It says, okay. Does it mean it's okay or okay? It's like, okay, that was a bridge. Okay. Ranjit says, super, and he gives it five stars. Uh, there's a four star review that just says, coo. So I don't know what that means. And then someone who was driving home just dropped a little five star there driving home the rest of the reviews do not have any commentary with them um but we're kind of like all over the place with the reviews here so if we recap the jordan bridge was easily the most hated bridge um because of the tolls and the ridiculousness that ensues along with the tolls not being paid which is a fucking bullshit ass problem and then following that, um, we had the Centerville Bridge. It was doing slightly better in the reviews, but people have a lot of issues with it when it opens and the yachts that they're opening for. We got to start taxing those rich people, right? <laughs> this is what that guy says. And then the Berkeley Bridge, people just really have mixed feelings about it, I guess. You know, they're just, uh, some love it, some hate it, some people like walking on it, some people like driving on it, you know? And some people, if you have boats, they like passing under it. You know what? That's actually something that is interesting. Not a single boater left a review on this bridge. Like you think with all these reviews we have, the drivers, maybe someone on a boat would be like, this bridge was amazing. I maintained the same speed. I didn't have to wait for it to open. I didn't have to circle around to come to the scheduled time or Whatever, I don't know how they communicate with these boats about bridges opening. I'm sure that there's a way or there's something they can look up and find out. But um, yeah, not a single, not a single boater here. You think you'd get one from the Berkeley Bridge since it is opening for them all the time. And not, not one single asshole on one of these yachts could leave a five-star review and be like, thanks for opening every time I bring my yacht in. <sighs> Unbelievable. But yeah, so um, so that's a thing. People are actually leaving Google reviews on public bridges. So that's the world we live in. That is our reality. And if you're curious about a bridge near you, just Google it and you might be able to find out all about what people love about it and what they hate about it because Ever since the existence of the internet, people want to just spew out their opinions nonstop as much as they can about anything that they can. And apparently that includes bridges as well. So <laughs> that's gonna do it for today. Um, this was an interesting one. Thanks for sticking around with me. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did because Human behavior is just really, really funny to me. So I don't know what we're going to have um, next time. I always have some ideas in the books and then just random things will pop up and be like, I'm doing an episode on that. But I'm always open to suggestions. I might not do it at all, but you're free to suggest it. Okay. So um, I did this at the beginning of the episode, but I'll say it again. Episode's done now. So go away if you don't want to be around anymore I don't want you if you don't want to be here okay um no I'm just kidding 
Uh, you can email me, I need friends pod at gmail.com. You can find me on Instagram, I need friends underscore pod, or on Twitter at Elaney Human. And just want to remind you again, if you are on YouTube at all, you can subscribe on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, you should just go ahead and subscribe. If you're watching on Spotify, you should follow the podcast on Spotify. If you're listening anywhere else, maybe you should just send this episode to a friend or maybe another episode to a friend. And I mean, it's called I Need Friends. It's not just about me, okay? Like you need friends too, all right? Why else are you here? If you're listening to a podcast, like clearly you need some friends. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Making lots of jokes here at the end. All right. Okay. And that's it, you guys. Till next time. Bye, friends.